This week on Check Please South Florida, a local brewery with a variety of beer and gourmet foods in Dania Beach. The service was great, the food was delicious. A top spot for roast beef sandwiches and frozen custard in Fort Lauderdale. Everything wow. was very good, very clean with it. And fresh made donuts served 24 seven in Margate. It was exactly what I was hoping it would be. Cultural culinary secrets and global flavors. We have a passion for blending ingredients and seasonings from around the world. Additional funding for Check, Please! South Florida is provided by George and Helen Weaver and the Friends of South Florida PBS. You will look at food differently when, when you leave. One didn't really help the other. I just know it was the best. It was just the perfect dish. Prepared to perfection. Hello, I'm Michelle Bernstein, and welcome to Check, Please! South Florida, the show where regular people from all over South Florida recommend and review their favorite restaurants. So this is how the show works. Every week, we have three guests. Each recommends his or her favorite restaurant spot, and then the other two go to check them out and see what they think. This week, Secretary of State of the Red Meat Lovers Club, Evan Darnell, is staking his claim at his favorite spot for a roast beef sandwich. He says the menu has high flavor factor and the fresh custard is always a standout. And online university professor Dr. Lois Hammond is teaching us all about donuts, all-day breakfast, and great service. She recommends you try out her Margate pick if you want a family-oriented diner-esque experience. But first, senior supervisor Susanna Eads is overseeing her pick for locally brewed beers and outstanding food. Whether you're ordering to go delivery, dining inside or out, she says they've got something for everyone. And if you're a beer connoisseur, her pick has a variety of flavors and brews and a new kind of beer every week. It's in Dania Beach and it's called Three Sons Brewing Company. Hi, my name is Corey Artanis. I am the co-founder and head brewer here at Three Sons Brewing. I started uh, home brewing and uh, kind of got bit by the bug and was looking for a career change and decided to start uh, going to different uh, competitions, pouring my beer at different beer festivals. All the while, my father, who's also my business partner, he was involved. Uh, he would go to beer festivals with me, help me pour. The next step was, for us was to try to open up a brewery. Our slogan is unconventional ales for unconventional palates. We make a lot of beers that are out of the box and we make them for people who enjoy different cool unique things and like to try new stuff and uh, we think a lot of people have uh, been pretty happy since, since then. So. Originally when we were planning uh, on opening a brewery, immediately you know, I wanted to do something food related. Nikolai, I met him in the craft beer scene. His vision was a wood, wood burning oven doing the artisanal pizzas, something that everyone loves and it goes great with beer. We also have a lot of cool uh, items on the menu that you normally would not find in a bar, brewery, or even some like smaller restaurants, like our octopus, our chili glazed octopus. So he really likes to push the boundaries with like some of his fine dining background and, and the food that we serve here. My favorite part about running the brewery would have to be the reactions we get from people who come in, hands down. We're very passionate about what we do, and, uh, and to have people come in here and leave with big smiles on their faces and, you know, excited to tell their friends and, you know, and, and seeing them come back again and again, that definitely would be uh, the coolest thing about running a brewery. So Susanna, tell us about this brewery. What is so unique about it? Well, it's a, it's a spacious restaurant, so there's plenty of room, especially with the COVID restrictions. The food is, in, is incredibly amazing. It's uh, cooked very quickly. They have a huge selection of beers that are all made there locally, and they also have beer that you can take home, either what you see there locally, or they have uh, a, an extensive menu of beers that, that are not made there that are made at another location that you can take home that are in a can. And what did you have to eat and drink the last time that you went in, Susanna? 
Well, I really love their tuna tacos. They are incredible. I get those almost every time because it's light. It's a hard shell taco. And they put cabbage mm -hmm. in it and some cilantro, a, a little a little sauce on top. They are, they nice. are very, very good. I've also mm -hmm. had their octopus and their octopus is very good. So you, I think the octopus is a chili glazed and Evan, you had that as well, right? I had it, it's very good. I bet. What beer did you have with it? I did a, uh, it's called, it's actually named after a steakhouse. It's called Tropical Acres. It was a guava sour beer that I, I, I fell in love with, literally in love with that beer. And it, it was excellent. It went so good together. And how was the elote, Evan? Can you tell me a little bit about elote, which happens to be corn on the cob? This was an interesting take on it because it was so highly spiced. Uh, normally they would say, just sprinkle that spice on top. This was like coated in it. So it, it gave it like that really robust flavor that you would get normally from elote, but like dialed it up a couple notches um, with all the dry rub. Oh, and you had smoked ribs, Evan. And I think, Lois, you had smoked ribs as well, correct? Yes. How was that, Lois? They reminded me a little bit of home because I grew up with barbecue food and I love it. Barbecue ribs are my favorite. I had some coleslaw with it, a salad and a drink and everything. The waiter was fabulous and he really took good care of me. So the service was great. The food was delicious. And it was very interesting decor. I liked it. <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit about the decor. Well, it was like walking into a warehouse or a factory, but it it just was fabulous. It looked great. Now, when I walked up from the parking lot, they had people. I, I almost want to say they were sitting around a fireplace, but maybe not. But they were sitting around a circle outdoors on the grass in Adirondack chairs. And it just looked very friendly and very welcoming. The whole place did. Do you remember a little bit about, I think it's called the Happy Camper Pizza dessert that you had? Oh, I had that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes, thank you. I was trying to forget that. <laughs> you were trying to forget it? <laughs> it's pizza. I did have that. It was fabulous. It's pizza, but it's s'mores. Chocolate candy bar, marshmallows. That was the happy camper. Yeah, that was incredible. I had to have that. And I believe, Evan, did you see the tasting room? They have a tasting room for beer. I saw that they had like off the side, they did have a tasting room. I believe that they had um, uh, doors that can close. When you walk in, the smell that you get from a functioning brewery is somewhat intoxicating. Um, it's just a really unique smell that you get from all this fermenting beer. Yeah, the hops, you can totally smell them. Susanna, can you tell me a little, a little bit about the beers that you had? Because I found them to be um, really interesting. Well, my favorite of the recent beers that I've tried was the cactus beer. It uh, has a little fruit in it, but it wasn't too sweet. Um, it was inspired by uh, margarita flavor, but, it, but but again, it was it was more along a, a beer line, but just not not very sweet. Okay. Well, Susanna, Three Sons Brewing Company was your pick. Can you sum it up for us? If you're looking for um, outstanding food, great service, and efficiency, uh, Three Sons is your place. Lois, I totally agree. The, their menu what, had such variety that I'm looking forward to going back. Evan? Chef-driven food where you can sample incredible beers throughout the day. It's a great place to go. Try some local beers and wood fire dishes when you barrel your way to Three Sons Brewing Company, located at 236 North Federal Highway in Dania Beach. Open daily for lunch and dinner. Reservations are not accepted. And the average price for dinner without drinks is about $35. Secretary of Steak of the Red Meat Lovers Club, <laughs> Evan Darnell. I can't laugh. I'm sorry. I, I keep laughing when I read that. Recommends you meet him. I laugh him. every time, too. It's been many years. Good. Good. I love it. You meet him at his pick for roast beef sandwiches, burgers, and more. He says there are layers of flavor in everything he ordered. 
And there's even a secret menu that you can order exclusive items from. It's in Fort Lauderdale and it's called Top Round. I'm David Chessel, and my wife and I are the proud owners of Top Round Fort Lauderdale. Top Round was founded seven years ago on a street corner in LA by four food executives. They found a hole in the offering, and that was roast beef. So they started out as Top Round Roast Beef, and eventually we've added to the menu the chicken offerings and the burger offerings, and now it's Top Round. So in the roast beef category, a signature dish would be the horse and hole. Horse from horseradish, because we make a very beautiful, delicate horseradish cream sauce, uh, which is on the sandwich. And then also the whole is from the Swiss cheese component of Provel cheese. But we felt it was really important for our South Florida friends and family and neighbors that we make sure that we provide something that is of the South Florida flavor. So our key lime pie concrete, we actually bring the key lime pie in from Key West Key Lime Pie Company, award winner. Uh, and we toast our coconut and we take our graham crackers and our homemade custard and we put together a magnificent dessert topped with some whipped cream. So it's something to look forward to. When someone walks in the door at Top Round Fort Lauderdale, one, we would like them to, to be hungry and happy. Uh, it's bright, it's very clean, it's, it's inviting, it's comfortable. The fact that we work so out of the box on a daily basis to satisfy every customer's needs. We've been able to offer a, a wide variety of options to everyone. It's, it's endless. It's, the combinations are truly endless with, with what you can do. You can become your own chef. So Evan, as someone who loves red meat, how's the roast beef at Top Round? The roast beef is as good as it can possibly be. Uh, they use prime beef. Uh, they make it in-house. They do everything right. Uh, flavor and love go into everything they make. And there's no reason why uh, you can't go there more than once or twice a week. It's, it's that good. Wow. Can you tell me what you had this last time? What didn't I have? Uh, I, I started with um, a pastrami burger uh, because they do have burgers. Uh, that was my pre-appetizer. Is that called a Western burger? They ha it, exactly. It's a Western burger. It was a special. So they do their specials on this really beautiful TV. You know exactly what you're going to get. But I also had um, beef on weck sandwich as my appetizer. Um, Probably the, one of the best things that they have there. Warm, au jus, swimming, roast beef sandwich that is served with horseradish. And the thing that I think brings it all together is this beautiful roll that's covered in um, salt and caraway seeds. And then on the side, they'll give you um, a jacuzzi of au jus. <laughs> That's the first time anybody uses the word jacuzzi to explain an au jus sauce. Thank you very much for that. Don't know if that's good or bad. Lois, tell me about your experience. What did you have? Oh, I love them. I, I wanted to, in a way, pay more attention to what I was eating, but I kept reading the menu on the wall. It was fascinating and it just fired my imagination. And I said, well, I see several more trips coming back here. Uh, I had their shrimp and I love shrimp and it was very, very lightly dusted with uh, breading. It was just very lightly, but the delicious flavors. And then I had the kale salad. That was also very delicious. And- uh, Cauliflower uh, wings. Yes, cauliflower, thank you, thank you. Cauliflower wings and Diet Coke. And I wanted some of their frozen custard, but I just thought, I can't after all this, but it's a good reason to come back. So Susanna, you and Lois seem to have almost had exactly the same menu. Did you love it as much as she did? I did. I had the, 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 the cauliflower wing. They, they came with a, uh, with, a, with a little dip that you would dip it in. It's like a breaded cauliflower um, that was seasoned. 
uh, that were very, very good. My favorite was the horse in the hole sandwich. And that had the roast beef with mushrooms and provolone cheese. I got the horseradish and uh, barbecue sauce were on, uh, on the side. Then their custard, I had an Elvis custard with um, brownie and peanut butter and bananas inside. And again, scrumptious. Everything was wow. very good. Very pleased with it. Now, I'm sorry, I'm a little ignorant about this. Are concretes and custards the same thing? Well, they make it into, um, they take the custard and then they whip it like a, like a shake. With various toppings. They make it even thicker with the whipping. They add toppings into the co uh, concrete, uh, the type of drink that you could serve upside down. Well, Evan, top round was your pick. Can you sum it up for us? If you enjoy delicious in South Florida, you have to go to top round immediately. Susanna? Outstanding roast beef and custard. Lois? Well, everything I ate was delicious. And since I, after I understood that and looked at the menu on the wall, I said, I bet all that's fabulous too. So it looks like a great place to go to over and over. For chef made sandwiches and fresh frozen custard, head on over to Top Round, located at 35 North Federal Highway in Fort Lauderdale, open daily for lunch and dinner. Reservations aren't accepted and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $25. We are making cauliflower wings, which basically means a crispy cauliflower tossed in hot sauce. That hot sauce that everybody loves that's usually wings, chicken wings, of course. So this is just some cauliflower florets. They are tossed with the smallest amount of any kind of oil you prefer or whatever you have at home. From there, we are going to put them directly into some flour. I'm also going to season them with some spices. I have a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, and the tiniest bit of cayenne. You can make it smoked paprika if you'd rather, if you don't like spicy. I'm just gonna mix those and just kind of season them. Toss that to coat. You're going right into milk and egg mixture. So once you've placed your floured cauliflower into this wet mixture, what we found really worked best is to basically just take any old plastic bag that has a closure and fill it with breadcrumbs. Take a spoon that has holes, we call this a perforated spoon or a spatula if you want to, and go right into your bag. All right, close that bad boy up and basically just shake. And once it's well coated, you pull those out of there, you put them on a little cookie sheet, and you cook them in the oven. But let me show you what mine look like. They take about 20 minutes to cook. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go right into a bowl, and these are now gonna be tossed with a little bit of hot sauce. So you take that hot sauce, and you add it to butter that's already melted, which I have here. So as you're adding it in, go ahead and whisk it together. It doesn't need to be emulsified necessarily, but it would be nice if it really came together and wasn't so broken looking. So once you have that hot sauce ready, go ahead and spoon it onto your gorgeous buffalo wings. Toss it lightly together. And then of course I have a little bit of blue cheese and celery. It's my favorite part, to be honest with you. And there you have it, y'all. <laughs> my recipe for buffalo cauliflower wings. They really are delicious. You can find the recipe for these delicious cauliflower wings at checkpleasefl.com. Finally, online university professor, Dr. Lois Hammond is zooming her way to an all day breakfast pick. From donuts to eggs to fresh brewed coffee, she says they make everything exactly the way she wants it. And not to mention the friendly staff who always remember her name. Her pick is in Margate and it's called Dandy Donut Factory. Hi, my name is Evan Martin. I'm the general manager at Dandy Donut Factory Margate. 
The Dandy Donut Factory is like a diner donut shop. We're obviously known for the donuts, and we roll everything out handmade, old, the old-fashioned way. Every day we have 50 to 55 different types of donuts. Our signature donuts, our sour cream glaze, are very best seller. And our, of course our dandy donut, which is a glazed donut rolled in donut crumbs. So it's more like a donut on a donut. About 50, 55 types of donuts every single day. And we bake them all here. That makes it you know, that much better of a quality product. Donuts is obviously our main attraction. However, a lot of people don't know or realize that we are a more, lot more than donuts. We're a donut diner shop, really. So we do breakfast, lunch, dinner, 24 hours a day. You can order anything off the menu. And we have a wide variety of different options. Anywhere from dandy breakfast sandwich, which is bacon, sausage, egg, and cheese on a donut, to a normal classic, you know, bacon, egg, and cheese, sausage, egg, and cheese, things like that. And we do have uh, specialty drinks, espresso-based drinks, you know, frappes, frozen blended coffee drinks, caramel macchiatos, lattes, cappuccinos, a wide variety of those as well. We hope people feel when they walk in like a homey environment and family-oriented environment and just comfortable, warm feeling around. Also seeing the, the smiles on faces as they walk in, all the kids smiling, the family smiling, so everybody's happy when they're in a donut shop. So Lois, tell us a little bit about Dandy Donut. And um, do you always get a donut when you go? <laughs> That's my question. I try not to. <laughs> It's a, it's a great experience. My, my neighbor loves their Staten Island, and I finally got one. I always get one to take it to her. Makes me feel like such a such a charitable person. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I pretty much always get a sour cream glazed. It's my favorite, and I sit down with coffee, and then eventually order breakfast and anything I don't finish, I can just take home with me. They're fabulous. It, I feel so comfortable there. It's just a warm, homey diner, you know, and I'll take a linen tablecloth at the time, but this is great. Now it's not only donuts, right? They have a full menu. Oh no, right. Delicious. Evan, what did you think? Reminded me of uh, a Jersey diner, uh, a small Jersey diner that, and that's saying everything positive. It really felt uh, warm and inviting uh, and comfortable. And the donuts, I try to set a record on eating donuts for one person. <laughs> and uh, it, it worked out great. What was your favorite donut? My favorite donut was the Boston cream donut. It had, uh, they must have stolen my grandmother's vanilla pudding recipe because they, sh <laughs> they, they put it right into this Boston cream donut. And uh, it tasted great. It, it really reminded me of my childhood. Did you have anything savory? Jersey Shore, obviously a Jersey Shore por pork roll, egg and cheese, like uh, like I used to have growing up every weekend on a on a Kaiser roll. Um, it was exactly what I was hoping it would be. Susanna, how was your experience? My experience was was excellent. Uh, everything was very clean. The the staff was friendly. They they greeted us immediately. Uh, very efficient. A anything that we asked for uh, immediately was brought to the table. I had the biscuits and gravy, and um, I added a fried egg, roasted red pepper, and sliced tomato on top of my biscuits and gravy. Gave it even more zing than than what it had. And um, I also tried the donuts. I tried the sour cream covered, and the s'mores and the apple filled, and uh, brought a pumpernickel bagel home, and, and everything was superb. I like how you roll, Susanna. Sounds good. <laughs> Lois, can you um, give me a summary of Dandy Donut Factory? It's like Cheers. You walk in there, the second time you go there, they're gonna know your name. They have a wonderful loyalty card. I'm gonna get a free cup of coffee the next time I go. But it's, it's very, it's not just comfort food, it's comfort diner. Evan? If I wanna eat a dozen donuts and one sitting in the back of my car, I'm only going to Dandy Donuts. It's that delicious. Uh, they have a great menu, and it's it, and it's yeah, and it's and it's open throughout the entire. When I have a 3 a.m. hankering for a pork roll egg and cheese, I can go to Dandy because they don't close. Susanna, I love it. Susanna. Well, it was it was clean. The food is delicious. Excellent service. As for Pam, she was awesome. I would definitely go back. 
but you can enjoy some good old fashioned donuts and coffee when you head on over to the Dandy Donut Factory located at 3101 North State Road 7 with additional locations in Pompano Beach, Deerfield Beach, and Hollywood. They are open 24 seven. Reservations are not accepted and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $25. Well, we've had such a wonderful time, at least I have. I want to thank my guests, Susanna Eads, Evan Darnell, and Dr. Lois Hammond. For more about the restaurants and recipes featured in the show, or if you'd like to apply to be a guest reviewer, visit us at checkpleasefl.com. And remember, find us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Join us next time for three new guests recommending three of their favorite restaurants right here on Check Please South Florida. I'm Michelle Bernstein, and I'll see you all then. Cultural culinary secrets and global flavors. We have a passion for blending ingredients and seasonings from around the world.